Hello, everyone. Hello, world. This is Duran with Cage Automotive. Hope everybody's doing well. Hey, so this isn't so much as a quick tip. This is more about who is Cage Automotive? Who is this Duran guy that's doing these videos and all this other stuff? Because I heard it last year when I was at a dealership doing some training and there was somebody that, from a big company, not the one I previously worked for recently, but another advertising company and a lady walks in and she says, who is that guy over there? And they said, oh, that's Duran. And, and I was like, hey, hello, nice to meet you. She said, Duran with who? I said, with, with Cage Automotive. She's like, Cage who? <laughs> and I was like, ah, okay, in front of all the other managers. And so, and, and as you know, I'm a nice guy. So like, okay, you know, this is what I do. And, and so then here recently, last week, same thing, another person, you know, uh, talking to a manager and this guy walks in, never met him before. I guess he's high up at another store or something like that because he's part of a dealer group. And the guy walks in and he says, who are you? I see you here. Who, who are you? And I said, I'm Duran. They're like, Duran who? Duran Cage with Cage Automotive. Cage who? <laughs> like, okay, here we go again. And he is, and then, but this one is a little different, right? So he didn't, wasn't about let me explain what it is that I do or my team or anything like that. He looks over to his manager and says, is Duran worth a sh sh sugar honey iced tea? All right, I'm going to keep it in sugar honey iced tea. And you about to say, I think it was Madagascar or something like that. I got a bunch of kids now. So anyways, he says, is, is Duran worth a sugar honey iced tea? And the sales manager says, yeah. He said, the dude just trained this young lady over here. And she's a salesperson, you know, just just not just started here, but has been selling cars for over seven years. And said so the sales training that Duran put her through, she came out and said it was the best training. She didn't tell me this now. So she told me it was just like she's gassing me. But she told the sales manager and the rest of the team that was the best sales training that I've ever been a part of. I learned more than I can take home right now. Right. And so the guy said, well, I asked you as the manager. Right. Is Duran worth a you know what? You know, chocolate emoji, whatever you want to call it. And he says, yes, sir. He helps us with our CRM processes. You know, he's here working with our people, blah, blah, blah. Because this guy's never, you know, he hadn't seen me. He hadn't been around just till here recently. And so I figured, you know, I was like, I've never actually, when I do these videos, all I do is I just try to give value. I try to give content. I'm just trying to help people out. Because when I first started, I struggled until I got great help. You know, I got to work with some great trainers and some great people, some great mentors. I work for a great owner. And so all I'm doing is just when I get on this camera, I'm just giving feedback, just giving some value. Right. So who is this cage automotive? Who is this Duran guy? Me that's coming to you guys talking. So for this, the guy that, you know, that, that put me on blast, whatever. And for the, the lady who's with. I can't, I'm not going to say the company name because then those people are going to reach out like, hold on, who was she? So this is who we are, what it is that I do. Okay. It's mainly three things. It's internet sales, CRM, and digital advertising are the three main things that we try to focus in on, right? Because if I focus just on one thing, a lot of times the other two would not, it doesn't work out. So if I just focused on just helping an internet team do well, well, if I can train the snot out of an internet sales team so that they can do better, whether it be salespeople, sales managers, or BDC, but the rest of the store is not connected, meaning that the showroom floor is not connected on what's going on with that internet team, it's going to fall apart. Same thing, the managers have to be on board. So we have to connect. It's, it's more than just a sales training. It's more of just like a complete, let's change the game on how we do business. So with internet sales, we work with BDC, salespeople, sales managers, internet sales managers, you call it, whatever you want to call it. And then we just train on different word tracks, you know, like not word tracks from eight and 10, you know, 10 years ago, five years ago, word tracks that are more data driven. So it's based on the data that all these different uh, people, NADAs, all these, the data that they stay, the, the, that the customers want, those are wh where we get our word tracks from. So I took that data, put it in the word tracks, and that's what we put in our email and our verbal and in our text conversations. Then it gets engagement with the customer with a customer gets a chance to talk, right? So with the internet sales team, what it is that, that I'm preaching to them is that the conversation needs to be so freaking good, either on the phone or via text, if it has to be that way, but via text, we try to teach to give enough to listen to the customer and then eventually get them on, on the phone because that's where the business happens. That's where they get to see you, feel you, unless you have to do it through video, right? But when we're doing that, excuse me, when we are doing that, the whole goal when we're on the phone is to create so much value with the customer. Hear me create so much value with the customer that when they get off the phone with you, they do not want to do business with anybody else. That is the goal, 
right? So I'm going to say that again. The conversation on the phone with the customer that is trying to buy a car needs to be so good when you get on the phone with them that when they get off the phone with you, when somebody else calls them, they say, you know what? I actually talked to this Duran cat and I'm good. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not in the market anymore. That's the whole goal. So all this garbage of, you know, hello, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, I got your request for such and such vehicle. Want to let you know it's available. When can you come in? We're out on that. Right. That's not what I'm teaching. And so that's the whole game with Internet sales. Just build more value on that phone call or every interaction and take time. Like one thing, and I want to spend time talking on this, but I'll say it now. Like one thing with internet sales that's really, really important to train on is read the freaking comments. Like a customer goes online, they go on Auto Trader, Cars, True Car, whatever it is, your website. And these people now, I mean, we're doing digital retailing, which is another thing that we specialize on. But a customer will spend 20, 30 minutes online, put a customer, hey, uh, they'll, they'll put some comments and say, hey, I'm looking at this car. I've got X amount to, to put down towards an investment. What would my payment range on this? Or how much can this vehicle tow? And then the first email that comes out is, hey, just want to let you know the vehicle's here. When can you come in? So we teach them just slow down for a second and focus on building value. Like these are real customers shopping online that want a car just because we can't see their face doesn't mean they're not real. And so that's what we're teaching on. But when it gets to the digital retailing thing, we really have to slow down, right? Because a customer is spending, I don't know if you guys, digital retailing, just for those of you that don't know, most of you should, is where a customer is doing most of their purchase, if not all, online, right? So if a customer is going to do all that data, or take all that time to put all their, their information, I mean, put their, their life, their blood out there, you cannot treat that customer with the same exact little word tracks when the information comes over to the CRM. And so... I, <laughs> We've done so many mystery shops. I'm talking about hundreds of hundreds of mystery shops on dealers' websites, and most of them are so generic. When we put comments, hey, such and such and such and such, comes back, generic, generic, generic. Same thing with digital retailing. I want to buy this car. I'll be here tomorrow. Generic, generic. And I'm not saying this is all dealerships. Once again, the reason why I'm talking right now is to give this overview of who is this guy that's talking, right? Who is this Duran guy? And the same thing as I told this this. Uh, the, the, this gentleman that, that said, is Duran worth the sugar, honey, iced tea, right? I'm going to get some iced tea after this. It, it, is Duran worth the sugar, honey, iced tea? One thing this doesn't, this dude didn't know, I sold my first car when I was 17 years old. I'm 34, right? I feel like I'm 50. I got a lot of miles on me, but this dude doesn't know me. A lot of people don't, but I've been in the car business half my life, right? My best friend put me on that and that's how I'm here. But anyways, we're not even going to get off on that. I apologize once again. And this isn't a rant. This is because... Cage who, right? We're gonna get a tattoo. Cage who, cage who is also CRM. So cage automotive is CRM. What do we do? Main thing is to teach salespeople, sales managers, BDC, anybody what to do from when you log in to log out, right? It's easy to put in a bunch of tasks. It's easy to build a bunch of processes. But what do you do in any CRM from log in to log out? You have to have a process every single day that includes if your salespeople includes equity mining, data mining, service calls, all this other stuff. Right. But the main thing that most CRMs don't do the best job of is how to prioritize that. And so we teach you how to prioritize your day. What do you do in the morning? What do you do by noon? What do you do by afternoon? And then if you want to mix it up, add some some things to it. So be it. But we're going to give you practical stuff that has helped people literally like testimonies. We have helped people go from, you know, one young lady went from two and a half cars to selling 17 in 30 days because she just was lost. She didn't know where she was going. All right, and the last part, and I'll try to wrap this up because I'm not trying to take up a bunch of everybody's time, but this has to get sent out there, right? The last thing is with this digital marketing, right? It's not about, I'm going to come to you and I'm going to tell you, you need to spend X amount of thousands of dollars. This is how, how much more you need to spend. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fix your people and your process. We're going to work with them, right? Because why, talk, why, why step on marketing real quick when your people and process might be the issue with the marketing and why you're not getting the results that you want to get? So we're going to hammer on that and then make sure that we're, we're getting the return currently from our current people's in process and then we'll look at the entire picture of digital marketing like what do we need to do what are our vendor partners doing we're investing this much with this third party company we're investing this much with this third party company let's look at the entire results and make sure that it makes sense right also what is our brand message what are we sending out to the public what are we putting in this digital marketing what are our words what's our merchandising what there's so much to it Right. In, in terms of just making sure that all these dots are connected from the Internet sales team to making sure the, the communication is getting through to the CRM and to the messages we're sending on the outside world. Right. So once again, the, the last piece, you know, on a monthly standpoint, the things that we find value in talking to dealers about is really four main things. I call it Papa. You know, I think about my pops, but it's Papa. Right. And it's people, 
uh, excuse me, people, analytics, processes, and advertising. And those are the four core things that we like to focus on with the dealership. What do your people look like? Let's assess that. Do we have enough people to get the goals that we want? We want to sell 200 cars. Do we have enough people to sell those 200 cars? If not, can we coach them up to get a better average? What are we looking like? Right? Our analytics, what is all of our data saying? Our analytics that we're getting out of our CRM, what are our analytics saying from our, our from our internet sales team, from our showroom floor team to the sales manager? Like the analytics as far as what they're doing daily, right? The calls, the completions, the text messages, the, the appointments. There's so much, right? The analytics is where you can base a lot of your information from as long as it's good, right? It has to be good analytics, good data. Right. And then when we get to the process. That's just making sure that we're holding our team accountable that the process is getting done. So when we're working with the sales team and after the first couple months after we've had our training, all we do is we look at the process. Is it right? Right. Do we is the leader inspecting the process? All right. And then lastly, once again, advertising, we're inspecting our advertising. How is that working for us? So a lot of information, but I had to get this out today because K2 <laughs> is Duran worth the sugar, honey, iced tea. So. It, it I might still not be worth anything to you, and if not, that's cool. I'm not I'm not the person for for every single deal that you made. Maybe me and me and and in your store or the group would would not do too well. We might clash. But the fact of the matter is, I find the biggest high from adding value to a dealership, working with the team, and getting messages back about people doubling and tripling and quadrupling their income. That's what it's all about is just helping people and it just pays forward. And then that person helps somebody else in the future. And that's what it's all about. You know, so I hope uh, this answers some questions. You know, for those of you who do not know who uh, Cage Automotive or if Duran is worth a sugar, honey, iced tea, and I might still be not worth a whatever. It's, it's cool. Everybody has their own opinion. But at least now, you know, so the next time if this message does get out there. Right. So if somebody says Duran. Cage, who, who? I'm just sending this video like, hey, here you go, because I, I went on a little rant, but all is good. So I hope everybody, everybody has a phenomenal day, a phenomenal May. Add some great value on every conversation. Have some fun. High five somebody out there. Get jacked up, baby. There's so much negativity out there in the automotive industry right now, but woo is me and everything. Get busy, baby. Get busy and things will change. When you're so busy that you don't have time to do anything else, you're going to sell a bunch of cars. You're going to help a bunch of people. And customers want to be helped, right? There's just so many choices out there that customers have. So get at it. Have some fun. If you're a leader, inspire your people. Motivate them. If you're not the leader and you're a salesperson, inspire the team around you. Don't be the person that's bringing everybody down. And if you're the owner, smile, baby, because you own the joint. <laughs> so anyways, this is a little bit different than those, but I hope everybody has a great day. Sign out.